News. I'm Isaac. I'm Ruby and today we're going to be discussing the problem parking. Outside of Devon Park Primary School parking is a real issue. Recently year five pupils have took to the streets to protest about cars parking illegally outside Devon Park Primary School. Two of our reporters visited the school to find out more. We recently witnessed the pupils' strong protest against parking illegally outside the school. Road users are choosing to park on zigzag lines, single or double yellow lines and other restricted areas, which gives a negative effect on the school environment. It's just the opposite of pleasing children. When Year 5 went swimming, they had to cross the road because of a car parking on the zigzag lines, making their journey potentially more hazardous. question staff about their thoughts on the matter. I think it would be a really good idea to ban cars from outside school because I think it's very dangerous that when children are crossing in the morning and in the evening after school that there's so many cars going past and I just think it would make school a lot safer for our children. How would you feel if a car parked in front of your car and you couldn't get out of the, the driveway? Well, I wouldn't mind too much about that if, if, if they were parking there, it was safer than parking anywhere else. And if they were parked behind me and I had to get out, I'm sure we'd have their registration number somewhere in school and we'd be able to find that person. How do you feel about people um, paying much parking? Oh, I think it's really bad. Um, I think well, within, within the school, it's a very busy car park. We've got staff, we've got parents, we've got young children. And we do always say to parents, you know, not to park within the school gates. It's a very busy time in the morning. It can be very dangerous. We always say park safely, drive safely, uh, because we're concerned about the, the, the safety of our, our kids at all times. Year 5 interviewed other children about this matter by having a question and an answer session. How would you feel if one of your family or friends got hurt due to a car parked out of the school? I'd feel well disappointed because the reason is if my friend got hurt, I'd be so annoyed. If you think about it, they could be in hospital and that would be really sad. And if my family member died in that car crash, it would be really sad as well. What do you think we could do to solve the problem? I think we can have a lollipop for you to keep it up it to keep us safe. After these protests, the children were so impassioned, they decided to write a letter to their local councillor, Chris Cook. Mr Cook is a member of the Green Party and the children thought that he would make a key ally in their parking protest. Dear Mr Cook, my name is Ellis McLaughlin, age 10. I attend Devonshire Park Primary School. I am writing to persuade you to ban irresponsible, inconsiderate vehicles parking outside schools. If you are willing to join us, you will become better at your job. We have a campaign which currently has a total of 60 children. It could have more. What do you think we could do to, to, help, to help? There is so many things that could happen to people, such as going to cross the road and then a car which is speeding goes past and you could get hit and this shows who what can happen with something you merely do every day now this is why we want to help in a concerned manner i think cars around school should be banned between 8 a.m and 5 p.m because people still park there even though there are parking restriction signs with yellow and white lines for instance we have just found two vans one parked on the zigzag lines, one then one parked on the double yellow lines. Obviously, we need someone to help us achieve what we need to achieve. Some of the people said that outside school is where they need to park so they can get to work early. So here is another solution. Get up early so you can get to work. Chris Cook was so impressed with the children's letters. He decided to pay the children a visit at their school. He listened to the children's opinions on the matter and also gave them some of his own advice. Sometimes it means they might be compromised. Not everything you want 
but at least halfway there. Okay, so that, that might be, uh, if anybody's going to ask me what, how, what I would do to try and persuade people, that's what I'd do. We'd go for the band from eight to five, and then that's like negotiate it down to something a bit more realistic, practical, that other people, you can get other people on side with you, so. Okay, so really, uh, you people probably, because they're based on that distance, should be allowed to be dropped off to school by your parents, yes? Or brought most of the way to school. That's not the same as outside the school gate, is it? You know, uh, this is another thing, isn't it, where uh, you can have drop-off drop points all around outside Temple Road. Yeah? After a successful but busy campaign, Chris Cook has written a response back to the children, addressing some of their concerns. Here we have some pupils who took part in the campaign reading excerpt from Mr Cook's response letter. I am now replying to your letters, which I first had an opportunity to read, to read through just before my visit last month. Clearly, it is unacceptable for people to park all the way on double yellow lines and zigzag lines. They are located at key points along the road for a reason, prevent obstructions to other road users, and more, and more importantly, the risk of serious accidents. In my view, we need to change the balance between cars and pedestrians using, using the road at the start and then the school of the school day. If more pedestrians are cyclists being to use the road while car users reduced, remaining motorists will get used to being more considerate towards other road users. Finally, I mentioned in my talk the other week that compromise in politics is very important. In an ideal world, it may, might be desirable from the school's point of view to ban all vehicles between 8am and 5pm. However, the rights and needs of residents and other road users also have to be respected. I note from your teacher's recent email that you have decided to focus your campaign on getting back your lollipop man or lady and enforcing parking and waiting restrictions for permitted vehicles. Overall, the children's campaign has been a great success. We have spread the message regarding safer parking to the wider community and even persuaded local councillors to fight for their case. However, the fight is not yet over. Mr Cook has crea created an official council petition for the school to help them build even greater support from the community. We look forward to seeing how this turns out. For any further updates, you can keep to speed at the school Twitter account at DPPS1. And that's all for today on DPPS News. Make sure to have a safe rest of your day and see if you can help these children with their campaign.